the wheel of power and privilege. I love this wheel. Well, folks, we have a power and privilege dynamic that is not equitable. If you're on the outer layer of the circle, you're more marginalized. You're more likely to be left behind. You're more likely to be excluded. You're more likely to be forgotten about. If you are closer to the center of power, you are more likely to be prioritized. You're more likely to be heard. You are more likely to get opportunities. When I did the math, this is 12 categories, three, it's a three by 12 approach. There are 36 dimensions of identity here. How many forms of intersectionality can we capture? It's almost overwhelming. Here's what I want you to know. I wanna know what do you see when you look at this will of power and privilege? The first question is, how does power and privilege shape how we see ourselves? Have you noticed how when you're in different rooms, your power shifts? Think about when you go to a family reunion, right? Now you're the kid in the room. Doesn't matter how much power you got at home, you are mama's baby all over again. And you can go to another room and be on the outer circle. How does power and privilege shape how we see each other? If we are looking at power and privilege for ourselves, we are consciously and unconsciously doing the same thing to others. And what I say is the oppressed becomes the oppressor. Colorism and classism we always perpetuate some form of oppression. I just wanted you all to see it. How does power and privilege create inequality in the workplace? We start to internalize the perception. That is the danger, folks, that if you're in a position of power, you start to internalize that perception and unconsciously and consciously, you start to treat people that way. You start to make rules or make decisions you otherwise would not make. If you're a part of the marginalized community, you are almost afraid to even speak up for your own self-respect because if the system has not demonstrated equity and equality, then why would I think speaking up would be safe? There's so many cases for women in the Me Too movement where things have happened to them and they don't wanna speak up because then people minimize your experience. I want you to be conscious of this because even if you believe you're in a marginalized community, you can still have privilege among your marginalized community. We all have privileges and we all have disadvantages and I want us to be more conscious of that.